Thank you for your time today. Don't worry about it. We can do these meetings online, but I like to come in in person. Really? <laughs> I like to see something nice in person. Oh, I see. You must be talking about her. There's a popular girl at the company that I, Takumita, and I work at. It's the receptionist, Yurina Fujisato. She's got a beautiful gaze and a calm demeanor that gathers attention in many fans. Mobiyama-san is one of those fans. She's always so calm and great at her job. Isn't that badass? Is she like that in private? I don't know. We almost never work together. Oh, I want to know so bad! Oh, right, we can't be talking about this. Uh, let's have our meeting. <laughs> All right. An hour later, after the meeting, I was back at my desk. I can't believe that the woman from our client's office is a fan of the receptionist, too. Mitani-san, you've got a call. Ah, speak of the devil. Hello, Mitane, sales speaking. Hello, it's Fujisato from reception. The client that just came by for a meeting has left you a gift. Would it be possible for you to come by and pick it up? <laughs> she must have wanted to talk to Fujisato-san. I'm free, so I'll run down now. Okay, I'll be waiting. At the entrance, Fujisato-san was waiting with her usual poker face. Here you go. Ah, it's some snacks from Ebatoya. Do you like snacks? No, I don't dislike them. Okay, you should take one. This is for your department though, right? I think that my clients would be happy if you took one though. Okay, then I guess I'll take one for you. I'll okay it right now. Uh, ow! What's wrong? I cut myself on the wrapping paper. Oof, these actually kind of hurt. Can you give me a moment? Yeah, sure. She ran into the back offices. I didn't realize that she ran like that too. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I'll go ahead and take the snacks out for now. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here. You should use it. Band-Aid? Uh, thank you. It's cute. Oh, right. It's probably awkward, huh? This is all I had in my purse. It's for my nephew. It's okay. Thank you. I didn't know she blushed like this either. Surprising. I started seeing that she was cute in addition to beautiful. But I didn't see her blushing like that as much anymore. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the band-aid the other day. I'm all good now thanks to you. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, just as unfriendly as ever. One day when I was walking home, it started pouring rain. It is pouring rain. It should stop raining soon enough. I'll hang out somewhere to wait for it to stop raining. Ah, oh, there should be a small shack at that park. I ran into the dark park, but there was someone else that was already there. A man on his knees with flowers and a woman. Is this? I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Come on, let's get married. It is a proposal. Oh, who knew I'd run into that, huh? What's she going to say? I was so curious that I completely forgot to hide from the rain. Then I noticed something. Uh, um... Huh? Fujisato-san! I ran out of the park after I figured it out. That guy was so good-looking. She's that pretty, so of course she's got a boyfriend. She was so moved that her voice was trembling. Get away from me! Huh? Fujisato-san! What's going on? That's not what someone who was just proposed to should be saying. Uh, Are you okay? Mitane-san. What is going on? What about your fiancé? That man... She didn't grab my hand, but my sleeve. Her hand was trembling. She was terrified. I don't know that man. What? But he was proposing to you. But I don't know him. I need to run away. Please save me. Oh, where's my fiance? Don't be so shy. Come on. <sighs> uh, let's just uh, get out of here, huh? Uh, can you get up? Y yeah. I quickly picked up a cab and headed to my house. 
We were both soaked, so it's better to be in a place with a lock on it. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. I won't do anything, so uh, go take a shower. Huh? You're trembling. You might calm down once you warm up. Sorry. Thank you. When I saw her clothes in the light, it was covered in mud. I decided to throw it into the laundry and dryer. I guess she can wear my clothes for the time being. Thank you for the shower. <laughs> She's so cute! This is so freaking cute! She's nothing like the regular cool girl. <laughs> no, now is not the time to be like this. Is hot milk okay? I have coffee, but I think warm milk is the choice when you want to calm down. I'll take hot milk then. She seems to have calmed down a little. I'm glad. Yeah. You better? Yes. Thank you so much for all your help. Is it alright if I ask what happened? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I can tell you, but there's nothing really to be said. What do you mean? This is what happened according to her. This rain started pouring out of nowhere and Fujisato-san ran into the park to get out of the rain. Ah, uh, talk about insane rain, huh? Yeah. Oh, but I guess it's not bad because I got to see a soaking wet beauty. Are you talking to me? Of course! The only beautiful girl here is you. I mean, you're the only beautiful girl outside of here too. R right I've reserved an expensive restaurant, but looking at you now, I can't keep it back. Let me tell you how I feel now. Huh? I'm sorry for making you wait. Let's get married! Huh? I, I don't know you though. Are you sure you're not mistaking me for someone else? Ha! Huh, you delay the response, huh? Oh, what a sinner. Please, be Kaodake Yurina-san for me. Uh, how do you know my name? Of course I know your name. Why are you making that face? You should be happy. You're happy, right? I walked into that? I got so scared that I ran away. Then I ran into you and... Oh, thank you so much. You don't know anything about this guy, Kaodake? Maybe he's a stalker. I don't know anything about that either. Hmm. After we talked about it a little, we decided to go to the police later. You've got about an hour before the dryer is done, so you're gonna be a little late going home. I'll send you off. Thank you, but would it be alright if I just stayed the night? Uh huh? Excuse me, please forget about that. She's back to the receptionist's face. Maybe her true self is not the cold and calm girl that everyone knows. Either way, I'm sure she wants to stay with someone right now. If you're fine staying here, sure. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, right, we haven't had dinner. Uh, is frozen food okay? No, I... I know you're probably lacking an appetite, but just a bite would help. I'll eat anything you leave behind. Okay, then. Apparently, it's the first time eating a beef bowl for her. She slowly finished her meal. It's good. It's only like four bucks at the store, too. F four bucks? I heard about the rumors, but it really is cheap, huh? And she's starting to calm down enough to make small talk. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm gonna sleep on the sofa, so uh, you can use the bed. I'm sorry for all this. Thank you so much. We both got in our futons, but I kept hearing her tossing and turning in the bed. She must be struggling to sleep because she's scared. Um, are you awake? Yes, what is it? Sorry, I can't sleep, so can you talk to me a little? Mm, right. Alright, let's just wake up then. We're free tomorrow, so how about we watch Pulu and pull an overnighter? You know, I'm the one that woke you up, but are you not sleepy? I'm fine. There's a movie I want to show you anyway. I chose a movie that was a one-star on a movie review site. Oh, this is worse than I expected. Huh? My plan is working! I think she's getting sleepy. Wanna go to the bed? But your movie... The movie will still be there. Oh, thank you so much for all your help. I'm glad you were the one I ran into. 
<laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Take this as a thank you for the band-aid. I'm the one that needs to thank you. The snacks. She knocked out like her lights just turned off. I think she's talking about those snacks from before. The ones that I got from Mobuyama-san. Oh! Crap, I yelled! Oh, I'm glad she didn't wake up. I need to keep it a secret until I know for sure. The next day, we headed to the police station together. You're just saying you're popular, right? I don't know him, but he knows my full name. You don't think that's strange? You can find out someone's name through social media easily nowadays. Uh... They're not gonna do anything, are they? I might just be victimizing myself. It was just a proposal. No, no, that's totally abnormal behavior. Yeah, there was no crime committed, but you don't know what he's thinking. She decided to go to her parents' house for now. I was worried, so I sent her off, and she was about to introduce me to her parents, so I slipped away in a hurry. I need to check on something. No one was at work on a Saturday. I used that to dig through some documents. Oh, there it is! I found some documents with Mobuyama-san's company. I saw her boss's signature there too. Kaodake. It's an emergency, so please forgive me. I contacted Mobuyama-san's private phone number. I know it's your day off. I'm sorry to bother you. This is about the receptionist, right? Emergency? Well... Kaodake san I'm not sure about any of this. Do you have any photos? I have one that I took at the drinking party. Uh, here you go. It's him. What? But he's never been to our company, right? Yeah! Oh, but did he say something about a wedding? And that he wanted us to get gifts ready? He's good looking, right? So he's got a lot of fans in the office. Everyone was so up in arms trying to figure out who it was. I'll try to go dig about it. Are you sure? This is for the receptionist. I need to do something about it. Okay, thank you. I'm glad she's such a kind person. She worked fast. By that evening, I got a call on my phone. Sorry, it's my fault. Uh, huh? I recorded the conversation. Can you listen to it? With the receptionist, if possible. Of course. Let me reach out to her. The next day, we gathered at a restaurant. This is the recording. Is your fiancé's name Fujisato? Yeah, it's going to be Kaodake soon. <laughs> How did you find her? What are you talking about? You're the one that pulled us together. Huh? He remembered a pamphlet from before. What is going on? I think he saw your little company pamphlet and fell for her. Uh-huh. I don't understand much from there, but apparently in his mind they've been dating. In his mind? She wants to keep it platonic, so it's going to be like this until they get married, but he's telepathically talking to her or something. What? Jesus. I don't understand either. He's just a normal guy at work. Uh, uh, calm down. I'm glad I found out who the person was, though. Thank you, Mobuyama-san. Hi, Joe! All right. She's a fan of Fujisato-san. Mobuyama-san promised to talk to her boss about it. That Monday, I was immediately called into the conference room. I didn't see Fujisato-san at the reception. I'm so sorry. Wh what Um, what's going on? I've heard what happened from Mobuyama. I'm here to apologize. I'm so sorry that our Kaodake caused severe distress. I have a daughter around the same age as you, so thinking about how terrified you must have been, I just couldn't stay at the office and do nothing. Obiyama-san had talked to her boss about Kaodake-san yesterday. He talked to Kaodake and he claimed to have a wedding venue reserved already. He's going to be stationed overseas. If he goes overseas, he shouldn't be able to be near you. I see. Thank you for handling it. <gasps> Angel! And another fan. I'm glad it worked itself out. Yeah, it's thanks to you. I just need to be careful until he's gone though. I'll be your bodyguard as much as possible. I can only really think of sending you off to and from the station, but might as well go the whole nine yards. Mitane-san, thank you. Oh, is there a goddess in front of me now? She's 
She's too cute. Is something wrong? Uh, nothing. I just thought I was in heaven for a moment. I started spending more time with Fujisato-san. At first, everyone was a little curious about us, but eventually, they stopped talking about it. Good morning! Hey, don't you think the receptionist is cuter than before? Hmm, she seems different. I totally agree. She just keeps getting cuter. It's actually kind of a problem. I realized I had fallen for her, but she had just been flirted with by some freak, so I didn't want to tell her anything. Another month went by. Kodaki-san is married. Oh, <laughs> what? He ran into someone after turning a corner and he felt that it was destiny. They got married and put in papers that day. Wow. Uh-huh. I don't think he's gonna mess with you anymore, but my boss made him sign a paper that says he will stay away from Fujisato-san. This is a copy. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> this is the end of that, then. Ah, it looks so good. Are you sure you're okay with buying this for me? It's my way of thanking you. A few days later, I was being invited out to an expensive dinner by Fujisato-san. I'm just glad we can eat together. Ah! Congrats! <laughs> They're popping off, huh? Proposal, huh? <laughs> I didn't realize that my first proposal would be from that guy. She's finally able to laugh a little. I hope the next proposal is a good one. Yeah, to be honest, I hope it's from you. Huh? I mean, I guess I gotta ask you out first. Huh? What? I like you, Mitane-san. Can you stay by my side? I, I'd love to go out with you. I will protect you as much as possible and make sure you're happy for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's like you're proposing to me. Oh, <laughs> it kind of is, huh? About a year later, we put in our papers to the city office. Oh yeah, there was something I found out after going out with her. That was... Mmm, this is really good. Really? Then you can wash me off today as a thank you. <laughs> that she was incredibly sweet. I'm really struggling with the gap between her at home and work.